detoured because uh, I had to catch up with Johnny Johnson and Colby Taylor. You'll see that in the last vlog because I split this up into two vlogs. I was originally just gonna hit some ATL wings and uh, just grab a bite. But anyways, uh, I had to split this up into two vlogs and I will be uh, on my way now to the Valley Christian game officially. Uh, I had to put a hoodie on because it got a little cold outside because I had to stop and get my hair cut too. And the two wide receivers from Chandler High School now residing in Oregon, one at Oregon State, one at Oregon. Uh, they held me up, so I had to catch up with my uh, barber a little late. Right now I'm on my way to Valley Christian and I'll be checking out a little bit of the girls game and most of the boys game, uh, all of the boys game. Just keep hanging out, we'll be right back. All right, so I just pulled up to Valley Christian and the parking lot is fully on tilt. There's no parking spots here. If you're coming late, I don't know, the girls game must be super uh, packed. I had to take somebody's spot. I hope I don't get in trouble. Whose ever spot is 159. I'm sorry, but I wasn't parking all the way out in the street. So I'm gonna go inside the gym and see what the girls game is about. And uh, Anna Gorman's got a healthy 23 on her own, outscoring Fountain Hills by herself. Uh, the Trojans lead 34 to 20, and the boys are warming up right now. Uh, I'm gonna catch more of the second half and see how good this girl really is. Alright, so I normally do these like unboxings like uh, before the vlog and stuff. You see me opening packages up. But uh, my boy Greg Rosenberg and his boy uh, John Ortega from Powerhouse 2. Right by a little package. Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, okay, okay. See it. are we working with? Got some Powerhouse hoops. Okay. Some new Under Armour swag. Wow. Some new joints. These ain't gonna fit me, but I mean, you know, they brand new. They got that heat. This size 14 boat. What's about that? We got this box over here. Ooh. Look at Look at the sauce. Look at the sauce. We're gonna take this little break from the Anna Gorman show over here uh, at Valley Christian. Anna Gorman, aka Rachel Ray, because she's cooking. New curry four. I, I don't I don't mess with them stuff curry too much. Those are kind of clean. We're gonna get back to Anna Gorman. Tonight. You got 35 points. What's it like having a talent like Anna Gorman on your squad? You know what? Anna brings uh, great leadership. Um, she just brings a presence that allows our players uh, to just understand what we're trying to do collectively as a group. How, how do you get the rest of the team to um, not fall into what I call the Cleveland Cavaliers mentality of just banking on their superstars? Well, it, it, it takes practice. It's a lot of just kind of just uh, encouraging players that, you know, you're on this team too. They still have high players in basketball. This gym is clearly her kitchen. She's Rachel Ray. She was cooking the Falcons at Wings tonight. Um, at 35, I heard that there's only two people that can hold her under 40. That's you and her. Well, you know what? Anna's a special player, and, uh, and she has so much, uh, she, and she just has so much ability, uh, obviously, to be able to create her own shot. Um, to get others involved. I think she probably ended up with maybe seven, eight assists. So a lot of times I think people get caught in her scoring, but Anna does a great job getting other people involved, which is hard to do when you're, when you're, when you can score as well as she can, but she's not a selfish player. So that looks, looks very unique. Now you hit them for that healthy 35. I told everybody that this is your kitchen and you're Rachel Ray, so it's gotta be wings tonight. Yeah. Um, Good. I think it took a lot of time for me to get my shooting on. Um, three pointers, my 
skateboarders were going in most of the season, I think me practicing and gaining more confidence in my threes or in shooting in particular, I think that's what, that's what really got me going tonight. Now you had about seven assists, you know, you find all the open players, you know, what is it that you see out there? Um, I try to look for our post players mostly for the back cuts. Um, I try not to be shot selfish with the ball, just making sure that my, my team get open and get those shots off before I can get them off. Now you already went through it once last year, you got that championship. What's harder, going for the first one or going to get that second one? I think going for the second one is a lot harder. It's, it's, last year was way easy to have the mentality to, that we're going to win it just because of the team. But I think this year, it's, it, it's given me a lot of more leadership to, to finally see and have that road of the championship down down and out there for me to be able to think that we can I got my boy Greg Rosenberg here. We just saw Rachel Ray working in her kitchen. Anna Borman cooks the Falcons. It's wings tonight. Um, talk to me, uh, who are you looking for in this boys game? Well, number four, Fountain Hill comes in undefeated in the section, but so is Valley Christian home team. Now, I'm a New York City guy. I heard that Valley Christian has an electric point guard. Who is that? Uh, I can't pronounce his uh, name, but it's Jalen Gilbo. We're gonna, we're gonna figure that out. And I heard that Valley Christian also got a big fella. Yeah, Connor Braun, 6'8, legit Division One prospect. Also, shout out to Powerhouse. I know we got John Ortega and his staff in the building. All right, so Greg just told me that uh, we got Mountain View, Southport Sensation, right? Tanner Pushko in the building. So we had to get him on the vlog. I'll catch up with him later. I know what's going on over there, all the way out in East Mesa. All right, so halftime of the Valley Christian Fountain Hills game, and Valley Christian comfortably ahead, 46 to 20. And I'm kind of thinking that Fountain Hills might not outscore Anna Gorman. <laughs> but anyways, let's get in, let's let's get inside some of these numbers. Uh, Braun, uh, Grohova, uh, how are they doing? Yeah, Connor's got uh, 10 points, four rebounds, two for two from the field, five for six from the line. He keeps, keeps on ball faking and going real hard and they are following him hard and now, it's been very good on the line. Now this is why you practice your free throws because uh, Valley Chris are clearly earning this one uh, at the charity strike um, and I say charity because these refs are calling a super tight game and just oh, yeah. handy points to Valley Christian. Um, Fountain Hill super frustrated. Um, what else do you see in the game? Yeah, they've been a double bonus since the last three minutes. So many free throws attempted. Like, 20 free throws already attempted, which is crazy. And they're Mountain Hill is basically just throwing up a lot of threes right now. Now 26 at the half, is there any way that uh, Mountain Hill comes back? What do you think? I mean, they're going to have to make probably 15 threes just to be in it. I, mean, this, I think it's just the Valley Christian size. Okay. Yeah, Valley Christian size is, is too much. So Greg Rosenberg did not bring me any babos. He went to get babos before the game, but that's okay. I brought my own dinner, Uncrustable. You already know, uh, more water, more life, and I always have an Uncrustable with you.
life over there in East Mesa at Mountain? Uh, it's great. It's competitive and it's exciting. Yeah. I know that uh, Coach Ernst, he doesn't play a lot of young kids. You know, what's that experience been like over there? Uh, it's been fine. I've gotten used to it, so I'm just waiting for my time. Sometimes patience really does pay off. What brings you out here to watch Mountain Hills and uh, Valley Central play? Uh, it used to be my old middle school. Uh, I just support their high school team. Okay, a lot of friends over there at Fountain Hills. Yeah. So, they just got blown out by Valley Christian. You know, what, what would you tell them? It's a great learning experience. Hey, sometimes you learn more from your losses. 13 off the bench with a young fella, you know. Tell me about your experience, man. You're the youngest kid on the team. I mean, it was a really hyped experience. It's just, it's just fun to get out there and get experience to be with the big dog. Right? So, is there a chip on your shoulder? Because you got to rank 13, but y'all just absolutely trashed as number four ranked Fountain Hill squad. Oh, definitely, yeah. We, we've heard this game already. We're ready for it, big time. All right, so what we got to look forward to the rest of the way? You guys are uh, about eight and six right now. What, what's next for y'all? We're just gonna keep going up and just keep working hard. Hey, Coach, talk to me, man. Uh, you guys are ranked 13th. You know, does that contribute to the uh, tenacity that y'all played with tonight? And oh, I, I think, you know, the main thing is, is we just want to keep getting better. Before Christmas, we played some bigger schools. We, you know, we didn't necessarily play real well. Um, but we just want to keep getting better. And I, so I don't, I don't know if the rankings necessarily had it, but, but you know, a Fountain Hills was the state champ last year, and you know we wanted to beat them. We just, you know, and, and we like to protect our own house. It was, it was a little bit of a statement game for us. Getting better seems to be an easy task. When you got the great point guard play from Jalen. You got uh, the big man Connor Brown and the super sophomore. Yeah. You know, who, who's your player of the game? You know. I, I, Logan played awful well, Jalen played awful well, but you know, Connor was so active today. Um, he really dominated the boards. Um, he got us to the line early, got their big guy in foul trouble. And what Connor did was he took them out of their pick and roll offense, which was, it was huge. So you could give it to a number of guys, but you know, his all around game was pretty clutch for us today. You guys are eight and six right now. You guys are climbing in the polls. Uh, you know, what's gonna be the story of the season? Well, you know what? We wanna give ourselves a chance to be there at the end. That's the whole thing. We're just going to keep trying to play, give ourselves a chance in the tournament. I think if we play like we did tonight, we're going to give ourselves a good chance. Are you guys playing with a chip on your shoulder being ranked number 13? Uh, you know, man, we started off a little slow, so it's uh, it's going to be back. But, yeah, we're playing with a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we don't like those guys, so, you know, we come out here every night and try to play hard. Now, what message does that send, you know, beating a state champion by, like, some 40, 50 points? Oh, well, you know, they beat us last year. Cup one time we beat them, so uh, we thought we should have won last year. So, you know, we have to come out and, uh, and give it everything we had. All right, so I missed your statement and dunk. Talk, walk me through that play, your statement and dunk. Uh, the place went crazy, and I had a bunch of parents walking in front of me. Uh, well, he tried, to, he tried to run that play last year, and so he threw it up in the timeout, and I was like, uh-oh, here we go. And so uh, I thought it was going to work, and next thing you know, he gave me a time, and I put it down. 17 points, and you got eight of them at the line. You know, Did you ever expect to go to the line 10 times in a game? Uh, I kind of balled them last year, so I thought uh, I thought they might like try and pinch extra or something tonight, but they, uh, they thought foul would be a better idea, but you know, you just gotta knock it down when you get to the line. All right, the other three Bs, Big Bad Ron, you already know what it is. Red, baby. All right, so we're leaving Valley Christian, and uh, Shocker to myself, Fountain Hills outscored Anna Gorman. Um, the boys, by the one. boys outscored Anna Gorman by one. 74-36. Um, 74-36 is the final. Besides Big Bad Braun joining the 3B club, uh, <laughs> Grahova handling that business, and the the surprise of super sophomore. Logan Phillips, great length. Lefty's got a little stuff in his game that like changes speeds well. He can shoot it after this. Like, so what, Good. What games are you at next week? Corona at Gilbert. Hey. Tuesday. Day of the Dale and Terry show. Dale and Terry. Thursday, I just looked at my calendar. <laughs> Busy guy. Mountain Ridge at Desert Mountain. Friday, I just switched. I'll be at South Mountain versus Carl Hayden. I'm gonna check out Isaiah Rhyme. Well, BC handled that business tonight. The Trojans win big. Uh, beat last year's state champion by like about 40. Yeah. All right. You already know, follow your boy at Just Chili and Greg Rosenberg. At Greg Rosenberg, one, four Gs.